A brief top ten. Okay, I haven't seen Animals United, which is number ten. So we'll, okay, well, let's, well, let's do Burlesque at number eleven instead, and skip over Animals United. Burlesque at eleven. It's rubbish. Avoid it. Animals United. What do you think? Who knows? What would you think? You might think. I don't know. You never review a film you haven't seen. The Tourist at nine is total nonsense. Uh, made more nonsensical by the fact that it's been nominated for these Golden Globes in the best film, musical, or comedy category. I wouldn't have put it in either in any of them. Neither best nor musical nor comedy. Mega Mind at eight. <sighs> Unnecessary 3D, more Digimation that reminds you just how good The Incredibles was. My boy liked it, so that's fine. Yeah, it's uh, fine, it's fine. Number seven, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. I mean, up there with the best of the Potters, I think. I think it's, uh, you know, up there with Prisoner of Azkaban, and certainly it, a, a very dark palette, very boldly played. Tron Legacy at six. What a shame, having spent all that money on the Digimation and the stuff and the 3D, and the, they never actually got round to figuring out what the script was about. It does have Michael Sheen as David Bowie, circa Aladdin Sane, for reasons which are never clearly explained, but which are enjoyable nonetheless. Chronicles of Narnia, Voyage of the Dawn Treader at five. The weakest of the Chronicles of Narnia films so far. Uh, the Way Back at four. Well, I liked very much. I'm very pleased that it's gone in at number four because I didn't expect it to have that kind of audience because it is, in the end, a story about people suffering their way out of a uh, Siberian death camp and uh, a work camp and, you know, across very hard terrain. Love and Other Drugs at three. F very good performances by the two centres. I'm not quite sure that it handles the change of tones in the script, but both Anne H Hathaway and Jake Gyllenhaal are very good. Little Fockers at two. Which I did see and wished I hadn't. You, you saw it as well. It's rubbish. Six laughs in the first half hour. And then, and then nothing. And yeah. also, the God joke, I mean, it's like, you know, it's, the whole script is, you know, the title sounds a bit rude. Let's see if we can think of any other ways of... It's, honestly, that joke has been flogged to death. And the UK's number one is Gulliver's Travels. Well, I took a bunch of kids to see it. And they kind of enjoyed being in the cinema seeing it. And I kind of enjoyed them being in the cinema seeing it, but I can't say that I shared any of the enjoyment beyond that. The only movie in the top ten Mark hadn't seen, Animals United, <clears throat> excuse me, reviewed here by Chris in Peterborough. Yep. I'd rather defrost the freezer <laughs> than have to sit through this really poorly dubbed Madagascar-esque <laughs> German ripoff. My six year old asked to leave halfway through when she'd run out of noisy snacks. Excellent. Clear breach, but child sized croissant unavailable at the world of Cine. Uh, and one other thought on Twitter from Neil McGuckin. Uh, I took two nephews, five and seven. The five year old asked when it was all over after 30 minutes. Poorly dubbed eco nonsense was the word. Can I just say, I am going to use the phrase, I'd rather defrost the freezer, because that is, it's like, I've always said, you know, it's like slamming your thumb in a car door, but defrosting the freezer is probably worse. Uh, 